Other interesting political news, you have Ben Shapiro posting a clip of Biden in which he has five cuts in 14 seconds to say 51 words. Also known as you are terrible at speaking behind a camera or you have dementia or a little bit of both. Which, again, if he takes you five cuts, that means they have to stop it, start it. So they're doing everything they can to make him sound coherent. And I don't think it's working. Now, again, this comes with thanks to ex-Twitter and Ben Shapiro actually responded to the video. Now, this video comes from Biden's webpage, or rather more accurately, his Twitter page. And he says, Donald Trump lost two debates to me in 2020. Since then, he hasn't showed up for a debate. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Let's make a deal. Wait, wait. well, make my day out. And if he does not do the Clint Eastwood accent, I'm going to be sorely disappointed. And it went pretty viral. Got 42.3 million views, and yet only 67,000 likes on the president's page. And all the comments there are just roasting him viscerally, to say the least. But the top one, being, one of the top ones being your dementia seems to be kicking in by Gunther Eagleman getting 9.3 thousand likes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's getting hundreds, I, mean, I was going to say he's getting hundreds of thousands of likes. He's not getting 67,000. And usually only a couple moderately positive comments. Now, Ben Shapiro responds saying, you know, five cuts in 14 seconds to say 51 words. Again, actually, we'll actually, we'll go right to Biden's page. See if we, because again, on his page, you should have equal people left, right, center, everyone watching him, in theory. Not everyone's liking it. At least he did, so Biden did suit up. He did something right. Interestingly enough, he does have an American flag on his lapel as a lapel pin, which in D.C. these days, that's kind of a rare thing you usually see other countries, which kind of shows their true allegiance to, I would argue, shows their true allegiance as well as priorities, but I partially digress. He actually is wearing a suit. Let's see, let's see what he has to say. Donald Trump lost two debates to me in 2020. Since then, he hadn't shown up for debate. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Well, make my day, pal. I'll even do it twice. So let's pick the dates, Donald. I hear you're free on Wednesdays. Donald Trump. Again, I mean, yeah, that's why obviously they're chopping it all together. I can't imagine how many times they had to do retakes. Now, from a political perspective, I'm very glad there's going to be debates. That's awesome. I want to have the best ideas to prove to the surface on how to fix problems in the United States. That's the whole point of debate. That being said, at this point, we have also had an instance where you've had both of these guys have been in political office. We know a lot of their policies and conscriptions and their methodologies on how to get things done. I would argue one infinitely more effective than the other. So be, I would love to meet the undecided voter right now. Like how many people are on the fence and are like, ah, I don't know, man. I, I like this guy. I don't know about this. I, I don't know. Like, do you know anyone at this point in your circle of friends who's undecided? Like, even if you're not, I know there a lot of people, well, there's also a lot of people who vote for the party. Like no matter who's on the Democrat side or who's on the Republican side or the Republican ticket or Democrat ticket, they're going to vote for them no matter what. I understand that's a, that's a thing in and of itself. But, I mean, it's a good thing this, there'll be debates. I There's a lot of speculation saying that Biden's just going to sit in the basement, which, again, he basically won his last, he won by not campaigning last time. I mean, he had the whole cultural, and the, all the media was focused on Trump, and it worked in Biden's favor very much so. But let's go to the comments. Again, this is right from, straight from the horse's mouth. It's got 42.3 million views. And let's see. First post is from Biden himself asking for campaign funds. I got, I only got 3.3. Or sorry, 8.3 thousand likes. Now, one of the first comments comes from End Wokeness saying that this won't age well, popcorn emoji, gained 29,000 likes, which is a friendly reminder to take the 1 1,000th or the 1 100th of a second to like this video and or subscribe. And just set a reminder on your phone to check it every day because, yeah, YouTube doesn't send out notifications for this channel anymore, unfortunately. Alternatives do, which is why I, up, I, up, I upload to the nice green one that plays in freedom of speech. And, of course, if you just tune in by downloading, I also appreciate you rating it highly in the App Store. Not to brag, but I do have a five-star rating on an Apple podcast. Granted, I only have one review from a family member, but nevertheless, that is technically 100%. But back to the comment section, you have Paul Zupa saying, quote, Joe Biden can't even handle a teleprompter. He clearly has lost both his mind and physical facilities. It's sad Jill Biden has allowed him to continue to fall apart. In front of the world like this, Joe shouldn't be debating. He should be in a nursing home. We all know it to be true. Getting 4.3 thousand likes, which he is standing unassisted in the video. I don't know if they photoshopped out like a cord or like a you know like a yeah, like a mirror in that. Perhaps a good good metaphor for the people making a lot of policies. I don't I honestly don't think he's in charge of many of the policies that he is being that is being pushed forth. Also, oh no, we do have again Biden's wins. And again, this is a legitimate profile. People like Mark Hamill follow it, and 
Truth be told, I think I follow it too. So again, you have Let's Go Joe. Again, there again there are millions of people who do like Joe, and I, I didn't realize this is a nickname until thanks to X Twitter. Apparently, they call him Dark Joe, and I guess that's a good nickname that they use. That got one point six thousand likes. Now that being said, Clown World said why so many cuts getting seven point three thousand likes. This is how you know this show is authentic. It might be awkward as hell with some of my lack of speaking acumen. However, you're not seeing any cuts here, with the exception of putting in an intro, and outro, a little what do you call it, little animations. But I partially digress. Let's see here. Scrolling down more and more. You have mostly peaceful memes responding in text form. That's not accurate. Or profile name memes. Nevertheless, most this allegedly profile name mostly peaceful memes said, dude, you would lose a debate <laughs> to a potted plant getting 12,000 likes. Although, that being said, there are many plants. Perhaps a rope. Well, I don't know. Depends on the plant, maybe. What kind of plants are you talking about? Is it poison ivy? That's kind of rough stuff. Is it just a dandelion? Is it like, what is it? The one that opens and closes it? Praying, not the praying mantis. The one that opens and closes its mouth with the funny looking teeth. Probably the only interesting plant you see as a kid, like when you go to biology class. Oh, sometimes being, a, I definitely have my brain parts not on my camera from time to time. But to be told, you're not going to see this cut awkwardly. Let me know in the comments. What the heck is what, what is that silly plant? It just opens and closes, eats the flies. Venus flytrap! There we go! Took me a little bit to get there, but nevertheless, I have finally landed my plane, as my metaphor is. Uh, the picture says sick, and it's a picture of Lion and his daughter on a cover of a Time magazine that says Shower Time. Gained 3.2 thousand likes. Sarah Rose says, You needed a teleprompter for a 15 second video. Good job not reading end of quote or last name or pause this time. Unquote, getting 11,000 likes, which is a reference to a clip that made went pre viral earlier this month. Where, yeah, he quite literally said, has said, like, reading a teleprompter, he'll say last name or he'll say pause. Which, on traditional production, like right now in front of me, I just have the bullet points of the actual topics to remind myself, and I have the intro and outro to kind of just keep me on track and the intro summary. But they'll also, in some more professional, they'll have little stage directions, a lot of more instructions that you're not supposed to say out loud. And fine, yeah, he has said those out loud all the time. The fact that no one has hacked into those teleprompters by now is such a lost comedic opportunity. It, we have a Ron Burgundy effect. If you can just put anything on that screen, he'll read it without hesitation. But nevertheless, let's see here. Zeke Akram says, The many camera cuts in this video tells me you screwed up this a bunch of times and your video editing team had to work overtime in order to make you seem like you knew what you're talking about, even though you've you're clearly reading off a teleprompter. Yeah, real strong. Getting 9.8 thousand likes. Sarah Rose says, why 15 second clip? I did it five times, getting 9.3 thousand likes. Let's see, I'll be back. Uh, has a picture of Trump, or a video of Trump, and a little clip there. Bill says they needed five cuts to piece together a 14 second video, getting 2.5 thousand likes. Which, again, you could argue some people are nervous on camera, some people aren't great. He's been in politics for half, more than half a century. I mean, he's not new to the game. He's been doing this for since the dawn, not the dawn of time, but quite some time. And I mean, I've had instances where I'll start a video and I'll have to just redo the whole thing. So like halfway through the intro of the show, sometimes I'll mess up a word or two or I'll some more words. I just stop and I reset the whole thing. And yet he couldn't get, it's astronomical. How bad this is just pro just from not even politics just from a production perspective you need that many spices together to get 14 seconds i mean that in terms of job security and a video editor for the white house that's got to be a extremely lucrative career the demand is unprecedentedly high let's see here scroll down more and more Gunther Eagleman says your dementia seems to be kicking high, getting 9.3 thousand likes. Damien Imani says this 13 second video showcases your speaking skills. You can't deliver it in just one taking. 4.3, sorry, 4.2 thousand likes, which again, some people can't do a single take. And I mean, granted, this was four years ago, but in the last debate, he at least sounded, I was, was going to say coherent, moderately coherent. And Biden has done speeches in the past you know, six months, granted. Then those times, a teleprompter, you're uninterrupted. A debate is going to be very entertaining. I mean, they're announced, it's, you know, they're saying it's going to be taking place. We'll see if it actually is or 
something pops up that somehow you know prohibits it. So you have a couple pictures of the bi instance where Biden seems to be defecating himself standing up, getting 1.6 thousand likes. Tim Young says, look how ev heavily edited this video is. Biden can't even go 15 seconds without reading off a script, getting 8.3 thousand likes. Five times August says, what is this fifth grade getting 2.3 thousand likes? Again, this is his page. People, again, there's millions of people that like him. We've only read like one or two comments giving him positive accolades or really, you know, saying nice things about him. Julia says, Trump has never lost a debate to you. And Trump has said he will debate you anytime, anywhere. Let's go crooked Joe, name when and where, and I'll debate. And you'll be debate him. What are you scared of? Getting 2.8 thousand likes. Oh, finally, we found, oh, we had to scroll for quite a bit. My finger, I mean, almost getting an exercise there. Biden Harris HQ, which, and I don't think it's a parody account, but they have Biden with blazer eyes. And he says, just the facts, Jack, which I think that's one of his trademarks. Or, or let me follow it. Let's see here. That's one of the things Biden says famously. He says a lot. He uses the word term Jack because that's a common name in like the 20s, I think. And he says, get your shirt. And it says, free on Wednesdays, which, pretty crappy shirt. Because, again, unless you're really following politics, you're going to have no idea what that reference is. And I'm actually surprised, just from a marketing perspective, they don't have any... You know, they don't say the you don't even say the word Trump. You know, I mean, pictures of it. It's just a just a T-shirt that says "Free on Wednesdays." And yet they say it's a. It's, they say you can buy this product right now. I don't know why you would, but it got one point five thousand likes. So again, there's another positive comment. Let's see here. Got to be one more comment. There's got to be something positive. Uh, Clay Thomas says, "Dude, you literally just read pause off a teleprompter just days ago." Got one point six thousand likes. Yeah, I think it's, I think we could honestly say there's, let's see here. I think we could honestly say there's a ratio beyond all belief, not, there's, again, we found two. Wait, is this not, this might be three? No. I was going to say, I thought, I thought we found three positive comments, but we didn't, just two thus far. We've been scrolling for quite a bit. So I don't know. <laughs> Let's see here. So, Lana memes, they get a little, a little credit. Earlier in the show, they had a couple comments on X Twitter where they responded in text form, which is disappointing if your profile name is memes. But nevertheless, in this case, they did respond in meme form. Play uh, memes says, You can't even walk up the stairs. And it's a picture of Biden at a podium. And he's juxtaposed with, at the podium, instead of podium, it's a play of stairs. It says, Biden debates his nemesis. Got 712 likes for that. So, Again, this is his profile, and he's getting even ratio there. But again, social media isn't a direct correlation to results of the you know actual voting. There's a lot of people who aren't on social media and aren't active on it. I completely understand that it's not a direct correlation, and yeah, that is it's not great. If again, you have a lifetime of being on camera, a lifetime of public speaking, it took you that many clips, it took you that many attempts for just that little short fourteen seconds. It's not good. It doesn't invoke confidence in your speaking acumen, your ability to debate. Oddly enough, I think, I mean, this definitely backfired. They thought this video was going to help him in the polls, help him, you know, show him, oh yeah, you can debate hard, which, again, we will see how the debate goes. But this definitely, I think, backfired on the campaign. It's definitely, in terms of movies on the political chessboard, I'll say checkmate. It's not over till it's over. But that is definitely losing your rook or losing your castle, something to that effect. But let me know, anecdotally speaking, have your friends heard of this instance yet? Do you think it'll go even more viral? And, or do you think, at the end of the day, this won't matter? Because, again, there are people who will vote Republican, they'll vote Democrat, no matter what. And a lot of people argue it's just a matter of resource allocation, getting as much ballots as possible. Depending on your state, ballot, har ballot, har ballot harvesting is legal. And, again, I barely got that word out there. I have a theory. If you click the subscribe button, it may very well assist with my speaking up too. So I have a theory. When I first started the show, very few subscribers, hardly at all. And I, believe it or not, I had terrible speaking acumen. I would speak mostly in a monotone. I would go way too fast. Yes, even faster than now. And truth be told, I would even stumble my words and mispronounce things with even greater frequency than today. However, as I gain more and more subscribers, my speaking acumen has slowly improved. So if you could click that button, I would especially greatly appreciate it. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.